You're listening to the Radio Ammo Breakfast, only on Kiwi. Well, it's just been announced the uh, the big lineup for Spore 2010. The first announcement, uh, uh, they were um, staggering the announcements over the next um, couple of months or so. Spore is a big old music festival that happens uh, on the 19th of February 2010. Runs for about three days till the uh, till the 21st. Uh, and uh, talking with me in the Kiwi studio this morning about the festival, its history, because um, it's certainly very colourful, uh, is uh, Amanda and John, who are the organisers of the Splore Music Festival. Amanda and John, good morning. Good morning. morning. Lovely to have you in. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, am, am I not to understand right that, um, that you guys went as punters initially to Splore back in the early days? Well, um, yeah, well, you did, well, well, I, I did, yes. I, I got involved in Splore in uh, 2006 after... Um, going to many splores and then got involved from a business and music point of view. Yeah. But Amanda was the um, origins of the whole thing. Oh, festival. really? You've yeah. been there since the, from the beginning? Very, from the very beginning. In fact, um, myself and a group of friends gave um, birth to it back in 1998-1999 New Year's Festival back uh, down in Kiriatahi, which is near Waiuku, and uh, we ran splore for the first uh, three years. Um, the first time was the only time it was a New Year's Eve festival and then it moved into, um, into other times in, in summer. But um, yeah, big, I, I was one of the instigators and founders of it, and um, so it's been my um, big um, baby for the last sort of 12 years, really. What was the initial reason p- for putting it together? Was it for friends and family initially? Uh, um, it was definitely for friends, and we definitely were looking at it. Was, it was a little bit back in the time of sort of the dance party Type era peaking. Oh, the, I, ca- I came. The from gathering the, was happening. Yeah, down the ga- south. The, exactly. Yeah. The gathering was in was in full swing, and we wanted to do something a little bit close to home and a little bit our own flavour. And this, so that was that was one of the reasons we sort of decided to um to to, to start it off. I think we had a thousand people at the first one, so you know, and it's and it's always been a small boutique festival. And and what's happened is it's evolved over the years from what was more of a dance party into a much more integrated music and arts festival. And it's a full sort of blown festival with a lot more than just music happening at it. So uh, Now, festivals of this kind always go through some kind of growing pain period, don't they? <laughs> Where either it gets too big or mm. or, you know, or, or the, the acts that come along are really expensive. Mm. What, was there a point somewhere in the middle there that things started to go off the rails? Well, I, I mean, from my perspective, um, I guess um, what happened is we... Probably to the Splore 2004, although it was a fantastic festival, we we didn't get the numbers, and so it was looking like we might have to stop doing Splore. Um, but we actually, um, that's when I um, got um, John aboard because we John recognised the potential of it to 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 go to an, to another level. Yeah. Um, and I guess yes, it has grown in size, but we 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 are limited with our capacity. So in, in the bigger picture of things, six and a half thousand tickets for sale is actually a really quite small, intimate boutique festival and that and that's what we're holding on to yes some people from early days will say oh sports changed and of course it's changed it's had to grow to survive yeah. and um so you know it's always sitting a little bit on that on the fence but um we think we still hold a lot of integrity with the event and, and because of all the different types of content we have and also the interesting music that um john is um b- very good at, at programming in there tell us about that john so so when so when you came on board what what sort of things did you inject into it um, basically, when I was um, owned uh, Galatos um, Bar for six years, so I was um, quite familiar with obviously a lot of the good artists that were coming through the country, uh, playing at the venue, yeah, um, and had some quite good contacts. And I had been a punter at Splore, and I, I loved the whole concept. And it wasn't just about music, of course; it was a lot, a lot to do with the sculpture, the art, just the sense of community, which made it a special event and the location. Yeah. So generally, with um, music, I really am always looking for something a little bit new, a little bit fresh. Um, opening people's ears to new types of music from both overseas and local acts, mm. um, but particularly going for an eclectic um, sound, so mm. that people are mm. getting a bit of reggae, they're getting a bit of dub, rock and roll. It's, it's just quite a big mix. And now, I think this year something that's that struck a lot of people is the um, the imagery, um, especially for, on the Splore website, mm. um, and and the, the and the kind of vibe that that kind of creates. Almost a, a a UK kind of festival type influence going on in there. Would that be right? Uh, Sports got it's very much its own flavour. I mean, John and I have done a bit of research at, at UK festivals, and um, certainly, um, I, I in in, the, in 2001 I, I went to the UK and experienced the Big Chill, and I actually produced the Big Chill, which is uh, quite a significant UK event uh, yeah, uh, here in New Zealand in, in the St James, and so. Yeah. And I was also influenced by um, Burning Man, which I went to out in the Nevada desert and Great. saw what went on there. So. 
Um, Splore's very much, uh, I think, very much a New, a New Zealand event. But I mean, um, are you? I, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I, I, I would say we're a, sophistic, we're a sophisticated um, f- festival by all means, and um, definitely there's a bit of influence from UK events. It, it so, you is, know, we, we do um, yeah, look around the world, and particularly for acts, I like to actually go and see acts play live before I book them. Um, so I do go up to the Northern Hemisphere every uh, our winter yeah. to check acts out. And you go to all the acts here in New Zealand, and John. And generally go to all the acts <laughs> here, yeah. It's yeah. one thing to hear like a new act on CD. They can sound good, but you've really got to know what they're like live to, to see whether they have that special X factor, which is what we look for. It's also interesting, Mandy, you bring up um, um, Burning Man. Yeah. And, and from one of the things, I've never been, I'd love to go at mm-hmm. some stage, but one of the things that I, that I get from it is that, um, that you, could, you could be anyone and go there and be someone else or be yourself. Or, but, 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 what, but it's kind of what happens at Burning Man is part of Burning Man and stays at Burning Man. Yes, it, it is. I, I, I guess what um, I, I've seen and experienced at Burning Man is that huge sense of a temporary community coming to live together yeah. and uh, over a period of time, and that's very much what happens with Splore. Is a it's a fantastic community of friends and families that come to Splore, and so that's created its own culture and community. And so one of the key things about Burning Man is that whole participation, where you're not just there as an observer, you're actually hands on. Yeah. And so a lot of our um, what we've sort of been more and more programming into Splore is that um, you know we we ha- we have beautiful arts and 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 sculptures on site, but lots of them are hands on stuff. But where people get to actually create, make or participate in the, the building of the sculpture or creating body adornment or all sorts of really interesting things and then we also really encourage our audience to dress up for a sort of the festival theme so everyone becomes a part of the festival and takes sort of their own ownership and their own t- take on it. What is the theme this year? Oh, it's really exciting. We're doing a, a bit of a it's Midsummer Night's Dream 2050 and so it's 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 slightly a futuristic version of uh, of Midsummer Night's Dream and so um cool. I th- I think it'll be um it'll be it'll be much fun to see what um costumes come out. Um, Certainly, last time with um, it was it was Shanghai nineteen nineteen thirties, and it was called the Butterfly Zoo, and yeah. uh, and that brought out just uh, just stunning. It was just so fantastic to see people make the effort, and um, I think Splore offers that that people, as you said, they can be anyone, and um, you know they can really let their barri- you know let their barriers down, and and it's, uh, there's a real sense of um, freedom and community, and yeah. Um, and yeah. And what about the experience of actually staying there itself? Uh, what, what what do you offer in the way of uh, you know accommodation and? It's a camping kind of festival, yep. um, and we have um, um, a big, lovely camping area set up. So basically, all the music and entertainment's down at the beach, and then all the camping's like five minutes walk away um, in these big fields, sort of tree lined fields. And uh, this year, we're actually offering a few um, different options, so people can sort of pre book their campsite if they choose, mm-hmm. and. Um, and their camper vans, and we can, people can bring camper vans and caravans. Um, we're also going to be offering the option of turning up and having your tent already set up for you. <laughs> really? So because for some people it's a big deal to actually have to get it, you know, pack up, leave work, yeah, get there at eight o'clock at night, have to get out, haul out the tent, put everything up, and so well, is there a helipad there as well? No, there isn't. We <laughs> haven't quite got to that level yet. One night, um, only one for emergencies. Um, but you can bring your boat in. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, we did have fishing? a lot of people. Well, no, we had a lot of people arrive by yacht last time because okay. it's, it is the Tapapakanga Regional Park is is, is 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 beautiful beautiful park set on the coast yeah I hear and the fishing's really good as well there are, there are yeah. some magic snapper but spots but the locals out there. will not tell you where those snapper right. spots yeah, are yeah no you've got you to pry that out of them <laughs> that's for sure um, so yeah you can come by boat you can stay in your camper van or tent but we, well, basically we create a really comfortable festival experience there's lots of good food there's, um, you know, we're going to have good toilet facilities, showers. There's um, uh, three bars on site with lots of, you know, nice drinks and non-alcoholic as well as alcoholic. And so, cool. you know, there's everything there. Let's, let's uh, quickly talk about some of the acts. Um, tell us about some of these UK, um, these these overseas acts from the UK and USA and Germany. The um, the first um, announcement we did last night, um, basically heading up that line for overseas, is Jamie Liddell, who's um, on Warp Records. He's a um, basically he so is an improviser. He can basically loop music while live on stage. Mm-hmm. His, his voice is very much shades of Motown. Sounds very, very, f- very like soul oriented. Funk, funk mm. influence, soul, right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, a tremendous performer. First time in New Zealand doing his solo show. Um, and we're very, very um, lucky to have him. And um, 
he'll certainly um, be on the main stage. Great. We'll, qu- we'll just quickly roll through this. We've yeah, got sure. Kid Carpet, Maestro, The Gas Lamp Killer, Daniel Harksman, and uh, how do you say that? Tin Sui? Tin Sui, yeah. Tin Sui? Yep. Um, now, lo- locally, there's a, a bunch of the um, acts here that would be familiar to um, to many Kiwi FM listeners, like Solarosa, Manui, Electric Wire Hustle, Pitch Black, and Kabisi, Nathan Haynes, Clap Clap Riot, Omega Supreme, Spiky T, uh, Mickey D, 660, Kids in Space, North Shore Pony Club, Easy, and the Nooks, and that's only the first announcement. That's um, right. That, that covers a good number of the, the local live acts. Uh, we've got some uh, more internationals to announce within three weeks, uh, and then we have a full DJ roster as well to announce. Awesome. Well, I can't wait. Um, it's happening 19th of February to the 21st of February, 2010. Uh, it is Splore. Tickets available where? iTicket, from iTicket, and, and also if you just go to the Splore website, which is splore.net, yep. um, you can just click through from there to get the uh, your tickets from there. They're $170 for the three days, and that price is until the end of October, and then they go to the full price of 185 So uh, be sure to get in there quick. Great. Amanda and John? Thanks so much for coming on in. Thanks Thank you very, very much. much. I'm going to play something from uh, from the festival. It's